Hey there everyone and welcome back to Game Vine. My name is Dave. Trevor. Chris. And we're going to be opening up another board game bento box. Now I know that we're a little delayed on this so expect a video back to back. You're going to have two unboxings. So once you get done watching this go to the channel watch the second one. But this one here is the international box. Mm. What does that mean? Intrigue. Uh, I don't know. Overseas. <laughs> Overseas. Overseas intrigue. Overseas. Overseas intrigue. So, yeah, I think just trying to build off of different cultures. I doubt the U.S. is going to be in here. but Probably not. Who, who knows? Uh, so, that's without further ado, um, disclaimer, well, I did open up all the games. I want to do unboxings and show you the components. I want to see how this goes. He wants to do an unboxing of We the haven't unboxings. seen it, though. I haven't seen unboxing it. Unboxingception, if you will. <laughs> okay, so... I will be getting the uh, the small one, so I might as well. There you go. I might as well go first. There we have the we have the card that tells you what comes in here. Yeah, yep, yep. So this one here is Bell of the Ball. Now I've heard of this game. It's a fancy, uh, smancy. That's how you say that. Fancy right? smancy card game for two to four, uh, two to five players, and uh, it's uh, it's time to party. Um, it's a carnival, and on a Victorian island of loot. Ludebell, Bell, Ludebu. Yeah. You have uh, what it takes to throw a perfect party, um, and you have to carefully watch the line of the guests at the door and invite those that share the passions with party go goers already inside. All the while hand handling out precious uh, regrets to those that should seek delight elsewhere. So I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> Um, but it looks like some kind of card game uh, that has kind of a line of play. I've, I've not played this one. It's by Dice Hate Me Games. Um, and let's just open it up, see what's in there. Uh, so linen finished cards, that's pretty cool. Good good art here. And uh, for a smaller game, I would say that this is uh, a significant um, mass to it. Because normally they have it's a really It's a little really meatier tough. than the other ones. Yeah. yeah, it is, yeah. So I would consider this even a medium game, but this is a small one they got here. But beautiful art. You're seeing the pictures right now. Um, and what is the, what is the, does it say anything about the gameplay? Um, yeah, a little bit here. It's, it's still in the front here. Uh, just right there. Yeah. Okay, be, a get, be our guest, it says. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what it's about. I probably should have done my research, uh, seeing that I did open the box. But Bell of the Ball is here. If you are into that, and I, I, it's a small card game, and I think it's probably kind of take that kind of uh, deal. So that is Bell of the Ball, some wooden components, good linen finish cards, and uh, that's the first game of International. Do I think that this hit on the theme? Uh, short, kind of English. Kind of your, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah um, UK. I think this would retail about $20. So. Not yeah, that's bad. actually pretty big for, for a small game. Yeah, fifteen twenty dollars MSRP. I think that's I think that's a good one. You, you could like that. Oh, okay. Rich. All right, so um, I'll take uh, you my want game. The big or you I, he has I the. the oh, you get the biggest. No, I want the medium. I want the medium. Oh yeah, you get the medium one. Yes. Okay, so uh, we already know a bunch about this game. Chris actually this owns this is one. one of my favorite games. Yes, this was actually I a game. Dave, sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's my fault. This is okay. actually a game given. This one actually isn't, but uh, a friend of ours, Patrick. Uh, showed us how to play this game, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. And he ended up giving me a copy, a voice yeah, copy. He's a sweet guy. He's, he's, he's pretty awesome. Uh, but this is a uh, what is this? Shinobi Clans. Mm -hmm. Very awesome. Very fun game. It's a. Uh, it's kind of a secretive. Um, I don't remember it. You're you don't remember it? You're gonna have oh to explain God. it. This is, this is like a, with the fences that you can. No, no. This I one know, is. That, those are getting mixed up. Yeah, you guys are getting getting mixed up. Come on, dude. I know. So We're this one is. Uh, this one is actually, um, it's like a, like a secretive game. Right. You um, have your members of the clan in front of you, like mm -hmm. a line, yeah, and then you have to decide whether you're going to defend them or kill right. them. Right. But you don't know what what's going on until like the end of the round. Because everybody's mm -hmm. playing their 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 card right. at you the same pick, time, right? Yeah, you have to pick two cards. Right. You get a, you get to pick one person you want to kill and one person you want to save. That's right. Yeah, so, but yeah, it's a really really fun game. We played um, it once. You must have oh, really liked it because you game. have it. Right yes, there. I do. And it's a um, so anyway, it's a three to five player game, mm -hmm. and it says sixty minutes, which is I like how you read it. Upside I'm down reading here. it upside down right now because <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to flip this over for you guys. Yeah. Um, but it's a super fun game. I love the secret secretive aspect of oh, it a lot. Thing. I just really love that all, all around, and uh, it's really the artwork on this game is amazing. I, I loved agree. It. I loved it. I agree. But uh, it's a fun game. Um, I would definitely recommend it. Hit theme dead on. I mean, yeah. international. Japanese. This is Japanese right here. Ninjas. Please. Um, Japanese. So I would or say samurais. this is. Or, or samurais. samurais, that's true. Um, I would say 30, 
30 bucks maybe? I think so. So right now we're sitting about 50, sitting yeah. pretty at 50, and yeah. with the big box still to come. All right, Trevor, throw that box out of here and uh, get the big one out. Yeah, get rid of that. Okay, Viva la liberty. Actually, Viva it's just uh, liberté. All right, so, so this is a game that's pretty old, 2010. Was this like French Revolution? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume, yes. In Liberté, players shape the political landscape of revolutionary France, okay? Mm -hmm. They compete in provincial elections to gain votes in the government and opposition in which, um, in which turn award victories. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's kind of like yeah. a map, and, but, it, but it's not really like a, so much as a like a risk type game, it's more of like, I don't know, you're like trying to gain political influence. It looks a bit like a worker placement or area control. I think it would be area control. Now it's made by Martin Wallace, who is pretty renowned. So bust it open, the component is 60 bucks on here. Yeah, for so wow. retail. Let's see if it lives up to it. Alright. So it's a big map. I, the art's okay, in my opinion, what do you think? It's decent. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's just kind of your, your basic, uh, yeah. I'm just going to put this in front of everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, it's nothing too fancy as far as, like, a map layout. Um, okay, and the cards are just basic standard cards, so you know that in finish. I mean, that's not the worst thing in the world, but... And then, no, it's basically yeah. got that, it's got that feel to it, though, like the, uh, I don't know. Jeff Components there. are pretty plain, but, you know, they're good little... They're you know, heavy, they're little, but yeah, little, they're, wooden, they're wooden chips and blocks. Like, now, remember, I like I said, this is, is older, did, basically, it's yeah. an older type game, so it, it hasn't got that that clout that the new ones are coming out. Like, it, this was kind of, I guess, a founder of that, but those are pretty plain blocks, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah not a lot not a lot to them, but, uh, but again, it's not, it's not like it's... So Skippy, horrible, there's yeah. there's still a decent chunk to it. Um, oh, as well, opinion. it says that it was um, kind of out of print, so they're revitalizing it. So oh, wow. people who get this get a game that was hard to get at one time. So okay. well, and it may even continue to be hard to get if it uh, you know if they don't do another. Well, I tell you what, rounds. the uh, the first board game bento box that I got, they had that hamburger game I showed you yeah. guys. Yeah. And that you can't get anywhere. And really? somehow they got like hundreds of copies to send out to their, um, their subscribers. So theme. Yeah, definitely theme. I mean, I think all around they've got a good mix between all three of the games. I mean, you have, uh, obviously these two are, you know, kind of probably look European, um, mm -hmm. but still I think overall it's, it's pretty good on, on what they were hitting for there. Uh, French Revolution, kind of a, a cool thing. Like if you're into that whole like Les Miserables mm -hmm. feel into stuff, it's probably going to be a cool little game. But um, 90 minutes though, man. That's a little long for you guys, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. You guys are more into that whole I risk. Mind. I mean, risk thing for you. It's yeah, like to be but games, it doesn't. It, but it's. I don't think it's really like a risk type game for me. I'd have to really dive into it to see if it's something that I would enjoy playing. It looks like there's a decent amount of like strategy and complexity to it once you actually get into the rules. Mm -hmm. um, I'm interested to do that one just because I don't yeah, think yeah. I was with you guys when you played that sound, that sounds it's cool. A, it's a good one. So, I mean, uh, MSRP, we're hitting around I mean, 110. Is, yeah, yeah. Right? 110. I would say at least at least 100. Now, in secondhand market, that's different, but right. we're just going MSRP. And well, secondhand market could go down, but it could also go up. This is true. So, uh, all in all, guys. Ninjas and Samurais. Tell me about the theme. As a box, did they hit it? Did they do good? Is this one of your favorite boxes? I want to hear from Chris first. Yes, absolutely. Uh, this obviously is my favorite. I would like to play this one. I always, I always like their small games that they put out there. They're right, really, right. They seem really quick and easy. This one looks, uh, this one looked like you guys said earlier. It's a bit meatier than all the other yeah, smaller ones. It's true, it's true. So I'm That's definitely down be the for biggest these two. Yeah. Small that we've had. Biggest, small, um, biggest smalls. That one, in the last, in the big one, um, like Trevor said, I, I think we have to get into that one. Not excited, really, though. I don't know if I really am too excited about it, but it definitely hits the thing. Sure. It's all right, buddy. All around. Um, I, I, I think the value was good. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued by that one quite a bit based on what you guys are saying. And I think for a small, like this one looks like it, it's got some good production quality to it. It's gotcha. a little better. Uh, mm -hmm. Like it's... You know, some of these ones that we've got, that one that was like, it wasn't even a full box. It was like a tiny little box and it had like a little cardboard insert because there was, only, the box. there was yeah. only like eight cards in there. Right. But uh, this one is like the exact opposite of that as far as smalls are concerned. I think this one hurts itself just because of like the produ production that they've chosen, like they've chosen with the cards mm -hmm. and, the, and, and the 
um, the components. Mm -hmm. I think it might actually be a lot more interesting than it looks. Like a lot of the portraits and, and just the way that they design it, it makes you look like you're opening like a like a like a history book ah, in school or something gotcha. like that. I see that. Um, which I know that sounds really nitpicky, uh, but I think it, it looks a little bit intimidating to really want to try and play this just just based on the visuals and aesthetics alone yeah. but it still looks like a very well you know a very a good good game well produced but i think overall a really good value here mm -hmm. i don't know if it's necessarily my favorite box but gotcha. it's it's there on the value for sure and that's what we're here for to be honest right yeah um and so i'm just gonna wrap it up to a uh, shinobi clan was a good game i do remember it very good i like how this one does not take itself seriously where you have two kind of serious games True. and you have this one here kind of as a comic relief i said fancy smancy on it fancy smancy um smancy. and I, i'm gonna agree uh basically both of you but uh, i'm gonna lean more towards trevor because i mean everything you said is basically what I would uh, basically be echoing. So I think, again, it is a good value, just like Trevor said, not the most exciting box, but that is just our personal preference. I do think if you're into this, this is something that you're gonna, you're gonna like because you get a lot for yeah. it. Mm -hmm. um, but that that's International Board Game Bento Box. So, all right guys, let's just wrap this up and uh, get to the next unboxing so they can watch that one too, all right? Yeah? It's right. rock and roll. It's rock and roll. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching today. Um, if you are a new subscriber, please click like and subscribe because that only helps us grow and do more of these videos for you. If you are a continued uh, subscriber while well, you are the lifeblood, thank you so much. And a huge thank you to Board Game Bento for your ongoing support. One of my favorite times a month is when I get one of these boxes. So until the next time that we see you, I've been Dave. Trevor. Chris. Have a great rest of your day, man. A great time with all the board games that you play. Bing, bang, boom. What's well, like a historic way you can do bing, bang, boom? Is there a way? Bing, bang, I don't know. That's like dragged it up. All right, guys. Bye. I got nothing. That was weird. <laughs>